welcome back. Here is an injector for CT. So this is a full injector. There's side A and side B. This is green and blue, and then there is synced to this posthumous machine. But not all injectors are synced because um, some are manual and you have to start it on your own. But in this case, the Toshiba is synced together. So once you press start here, it'll count down with the machine. And then um, according to whatever scan that you're gonna do, Venus phase or hero phase, and we'll get into that much later. But I just wanted to show you how you put a syringe onto the injector. So there's two nozzles right here, and this is a single injector. But there is a dual injector where So oh. sterile, sterile. 
barrel. And then you just twist it on. So after that, you're going to use this bottom piece right here. And it turns. So you can manually turn it. I like to just turn it so this moves up. And so see how there's air there? You want to get the air up to there, to this right there. And then afterwards, you're going to come down here to prime. And then you're going to press prime. And then contrast is going to come through. And then you want that to come up. So that there's no air. You don't want any air in here when it gets to the IV. And then once you're get, getting ready to get it through, you can just flip it over. Make sure you flip it over and then um, it can hang tight there or wherever. So when you do start, so when you do start, here is the start button. You can start it in here or you can start it next to your machine. And then you can stop it because remember you always have to watch your ID when contest goes in if you have enough time, delay time. You want to see if there's any infiltration going through. Uh, and checking on your patient to see if they're okay. So this is a start and pause or stop. So either one. And that's pretty much it. Um, the buttons here, there's move position, so you can move the thing from from this, from the bottom's window, or you can move the um, piston. The video died earlier and didn't get the rest. Going back to move piston, you can use this button and then press this to move the piston. So see how there's still some air left? Instead of using this piece down here, I'm actually going to use this. So I'm going to move piston and then when I press this, the number is going to go up. See that? And the piston is going to go up too. And I could have either primed that or just move it like this. And when you prime it, you want all the contrast to come to the top because you don't want any air to go up. So after that, I'm just going to use the bottom and see where this contrast is at. So you're going to prime that. And literally, I'm just twisting it slowly and going through. Or if it was still up here, you can just press one button and it'll prime it through this whole tube. So keep on going. Voila. And there it is. So see how you have the warmer on the bottom? But the contrast, where is it? It's on top. Yeah, so yeah, just make sure you keep the warmer where the contrast is at. So that it stays. Okay. Got it? Got it. Yay, okay. <laughs> yeah, so that just would be FYI. useless right here. Right, it would be useless. <laughs> <Not the contract. laughs> okay. It'll keep the bottle warm, but why do you need that warm? <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. Cool. Good job. Yay.